Hi, I'm Mark Schneider, you're watching Schneider Classics, and today we're going to be working on my 74 Simplicity Garden Tractor. So today I'm going to be working some more deck. Uh, all the parts and pieces are here, it just has to go back together. Let's jump to a time lapse and I'll put this damn thing back together. <laughs> So I'm going to show you my trick for measuring belt. It's something I learned from my father, which learned from his father, which learned from his father. Uh, you take your rope, because rope is cheap, and I don't really care about it. Right there, matched up. Make the cut where it lines up. Because right there, that is my belt measurement that I need. So that's one belt. It's rope. Goes from there to there to there. Now, kind of sucks because now I got to throw this underneath there, hook it up, and measure for the drive belt to the mower deck which a little bit sucks.
So the mower is on, sorta. I kinda half-assed some bolts in there for right now. I gotta go get some longer bolts for the hookups. It only hooks up in here in the front, which is a little weird. There's a little oil. Did an oil change in it. Uh, normally you do your oil plug here, I'm guessing. Uh, but the other side has a better spill, but that's because this is not the original motor, so that's fine. Uh, more deck, it, I didn't get it fully attached because I did not get the belt for it today, which is sad. But we did get, I did redo the wiring. So brand new switch there. Lights work. You can hear it, you can't see it, unless I lift the hood. Oh, hood's a little more stiff since I re-weld it. Oh, well that might be why. So you can see that clutch. When I flip this switch, That electric clutch is uh, just a little solenoid that engages the clutch in the front there. That's for a snowblower. I don't have the snowblower for this, but it works. Redid the fuses, brand new battery. Yes, I love the ammo. I love the ammo can. Great. Lights all work. A little bit of new harness. It's a lot more rigged, the hood, which is awesome. Let me know where I can get clips like this, little rubber clips. Because I'd like to replace them for both sides. And replace them. Get new ones on. So the, yeah, the mower deck's just kind of half-ass on. I do like that there's a cover here. The cover up. Yeah, I, I really like that. Cover up the, up the belt system. I still need to go get the belt. So I'll replace that. I love that's this wheels. I think I'm gonna drill a little hole and put a little uh, cotter pin in because I am worried of this stuff sliding off. Not so much, but I am a little bit worried. I don't want it to. Uh, it just drove right over this. It just drove right on, then hook up, then to unhook. I think I'm gonna have to, I don't know how I'm gonna unhook and get it out. Maybe jack it up, put it on some ramps, and pull out. Because I can't drive over it from reverse. Oh, maybe I can back over it. We'll see. But get that stuff put in there. But yeah, new battery, new wiring. She starts. I do have to, I did not play with the brake adjustment today. I should have, but I don't care. But I got all the wiring new in here. This bolt's kind of loose. I do want to, I do want to order some little, oh. Some little middle, middle tin to sit right there in front of the battery. I like to get, put a little tin there or something. Uh, just to hold some extra fuses because there are fuses in the line for the hydraulic and the lights. So they don't burn out the lights or the hydraulic solenoid, which is awesome. I love that it saves that. I already accidentally jumped the wire to the power amperage gauge and it killed one of the fuses to the hydraulic solenoid. But I'm glad there's fuses because I'd rather burn fuses than that solenoid because that solenoid is inside the motor. I don't want to replace that solenoid. So I'm, I'm okay with replacing a, a $2 fuse. <laughs> But, got our wiring in here. I wish I had more wiring. I didn't redo this wiring, I just redid the connections to the lights because they're kind of finicky. That one still is, it's a little bit rubbed off here. Which is not the best. I should redo that weld. That hood weld right there, I should redo. Just did two welds onto the latch, just like the other side. Not the best, I didn't have it lined up the best, but it was just a quick work just to get her going here. Fill up without having to take it off, exhaust, she's awesome. I'll start her up and let's go. Mm -hmm. 
Now just to make it officially mine, we're gonna put a GoPro mount right on the nose. And a sticker. Where am I going to stick a sticker? The little guy. Oh, right there is perfect. Can you go grab some alcohol to clean that up? really well I'm actually like really happy with that really really happy so we're gonna leave this episode off there I took I did take the deck off because I was like I may have a little more fun with it and the deck gets caught on stuff and is not really meant for going fast even though I like I went over trees about the size of my head with the deck on and it didn't care it's like all right we're just gonna go over this and boom 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 I'm just jumping along man that thing's fun Oh, that's way too fun. That's, oh, I love this thing. More and more and more. 
There is no suspension on that. I really love the suspension on the quad now, but holy, that's a lot of fun. So make sure to subscribe and hit that little notification bell. You'll be the first to know when anything, anything pops up because we still got to do work on this. There's still work on that and there's, there's work on everything coming, but man, that's a lot of fun. <laughs>